hope everybody's having a great day out there. Um, we'll try to make this as quick as possible. We'll do a fast one for you. Um, I'm gonna briefly go over what I look for when I'm doing a mechanical rough, or mechanical rough inspection, residential. I'm on the main level here. Um, typically, like I said, I start down in the garage, but I chose to start on the main level. This is a, like I said, a brand new, brand new home. It's about 3,000 square feet, if I'm not mistaken. This is the main level. That's the front door. There's a bathroom over in the corner there. This, that's the kitchen area. And that's the family, that's the, like the dining room. Um, we have the family room area. And there's also a deck outside as well. I'll just take you out there. To, if I can get out there. Kind of take you out there to look at the deck. Pretty nice home, pretty nice home. I think this one goes for about 600, 600,000. Um, let me kind of take you upstairs. Yeah, the market down here has really jumped lately. Um, so, you know, in this particular area, these houses are going for about 600,000. Uh, this is the top level here. You got a laundry over there. Um, I'll show you the master. I know this is probably kind of off the cuff here. I'm giving you a little, little tour of the layout, but let's just jump into this this video. Um, about mechanical rough, I, like I said, I typically start in the garage, but I'm, I'm let's just start here. Um, I look for the the duct, the duct, the layout. Make sure each duct is strapped. At least every every four feet. Now he he strapped the contractor strapped him definitely a lot closer than that, which is fine with me. I make sure that there's mastic on the inside of all the supply boots, uh, where the seams are and where the flex connects that supply boot. Um, like I said, I go through and check all the supply and return flex duct. Make sure the 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 supply. It's insulated as well. Um, there's rated pressure tape around the connection where the flex connects to the supply boots. Make sure everything is strapped up and it's not kinked, it's not bent, it's not turned more than 90 degrees or, or less than 90 degrees, I'm sorry. It's not turned less than 90 degrees and not kinked. Um, and simple of, in a couple of ca cases down here in Atlanta, we have what is called a HVAC chase that they run, I'll flip it around, that they run duct down to the next floor. Now this is what a HVAC chase is called. It's, it's pretty much just a, a concealed chase that they run the HVAC duct through. Uh, they start up in the attic, the unit, if you can see that, is up in the attic. Now down here in Georgia, they, they put these uh, mechanical units a lot. They put them up in the attic in a lot of cases down here in Atlanta, in the houses that we that we have built here. And they'll take and run the duct down through a chase down to the next floor. And they all, they'll also run the chase or run the, the flex out to supply a lot of the areas here on the on the top floor, but I check uh, make sure there's there's no kinks, there's no bend less than ninety degrees. All the duct is strapped and not laying on a on a ceiling joist. Uh, any any concealed chases or HVAC chases um, that they have flex duct running through, I make sure that the top, like here, is sealed. Make sure that's sealed. You want to make sure all concealed chases, all plumbing and HVAC chases are sealed at the top. And, th and this one is. It's, it's also foam sealed as well. I also go to the laundry room. Um, 
make sure that that exhaust duct is four inches and it's sealed. Um, this is the laundry room here. That's your, your water, hot water, hot and cold water supply. That's your dry exhaust. And also make sure, let's take you down to the, the main level here. Try to make this as quick as possible. I'm showing up my, my videos. I, I think more people watch when, when they're not as long. So, um, but in any bathrooms, make sure that the duct, the flex, typically we, we run four inch flex. Make sure that that's going outside. That's, that's terminating on the exterior. That's your exhaust fan there. That's your four inch and it is increasing. It looks like to be a six inch, which is unusual, but that works. That is the dryer from the top level. You, you just saw that earlier. It comes down, it elbows, it turns and elbows again, and it's terminating on the exterior. Make sure that the pressure tape or sealant is at all the elbows in any seams it is. Um, and if that this house is being supplied by gas, make sure I also check the gas line and make sure there's a pressure test on the gas line. And that's our pressure gauge there. And you see the, the gauge is about, I don't know, about 18. Let's see, let's flip it. It's about, about 18 pounds, 18 PSI, which is, which is adequate. And I typically test that. And um, let me see if I can think of anything. That's basically what I what I checked. If there if there are any units, um, let's go back up to the to the third floor here. Um, which is a which there's one one area that we that I catch a lot of contractors on. Um, these units, if you can see that that mechanical unit, it sits on a on a platform, um, and you can see that right there sitting on that platform. Typically, they'll try to, to sit that on half an inch plywood, and I have to fail a lot of them because that needs to be at least three quarter, maybe to an inch. It's got to be the same width as a as the flooring that you actually walk on in the house. You can't reduce that platform. To half an inch and as you can see that one you can see it it's at least at least three quarter and that's the the unit there but it sits on that platform cannot be half an inch it's got to be at least three quarter and I catch a lot of contractors on that one but um sorry if I seem like I'm out of breath because <laughs> I need to, need to get back in the gym um <clears throat> it's been rough this this uh this this pandemic has been has been has been crazy, um, but that's typically what I look for when I do a mechanical roof. I am starting a series where I will go through uh, what I look for on the plumbing roof. I look through on an electrical roof, and what I look for when I'm doing a framing inspection as well. Um, this one, this particular one, is the mechanical, um, and those are the items that I typically look for. This contractor, I'm very familiar with. He does an excellent job. Um, um, so, didn't find any violations for this for this particular inspection. Um, but that's typically what I look for. Um, and uh, hope you guys found this informative. And like I said, I'm doing some. I'm doing another series. Um, um, I'll take this and turn this into a mechanical final when when this is is finished. I'll also do a video on a mechanical final as well, what I look for under a mechanical final. Um, so I'm doing a plumbing rough, plumbing final, electrical rough, electrical final, mechanical rough, mechanical final, framing, and like a final, uh, final residential building inspection. But this is mechanical rough. Hope you guys found this informative. Uh, got any questions, please comment down below. I will get back with you. You guys stay safe and we'll see you soon.